Alright, hello, and welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Suicoden 2. Uh, in the last episode, that for me happened like three weeks ago, and I've been unbelievably busy since then, so excuse me if I'm not entirely up to date. Uh, we found out how many weeks worth of provisions the Highland Army had, so therefore we now have an idea of uh, how long they will... Um, Stay near the border, and boom, they attacked! So, we have been ordered, as part of uh, Victor's group, to slow down the Highland attack for 10 days until the reinforcements from the other city-states will arrive. So that's our current job. So let's just see here. Yes, we just have to speak to Victor then and start the war, basically. Start the 10-day battle. Hey, are you all ready? Yeah! Born ready. Good, we're just about ready. So, in this war you get a bit more freedom than normal. Uh, you get two more units to control, uh, who are incredibly crappy, but it's two units, so... I can see Highlands Army's advanced troops! It's that guy, Victor, again! This time I'll kick his ass! Don't worry, all we gotta do is to slow them down. If we can defeat Solanji's unit, or buy enough time, they should retreat. So let's see here, we, we still can't control any everyone in this battle. There's still, you know, Victor, Musun Song, Flay Victor, Victor and Flick move on their own. And yeah, as Apple now explains, we have two groups of our own. But they are incredibly bad. Five in attack and four in defense is worse than every other group out here. So they are not that useful and very expandable, so let's just get rid of them as quickly as possible. Uh, as you might have seen, there's a new general on the Highland Army there, Gilbert, and we will uh, hopefully <laughs> get to talk to him in this battle. If we don't, then we need to restart, so... Hey, Flick! See someone you recognize? Gilbert, is it? I can't believe he's working for Highland. Do you know him? If only you could get him to switch, uh, switch sides. Well, Flick is not going to try. That's why he has Sai in his party to use a fire spear. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. That means our goal, or like secondary goal in this battle, except for slowing down the Highland army, is to attack Gilbert, actually. <laughs> I'll probably be fine. We'll be able to do this. If not, we have to restart. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we were waiting for uh, reinforcements from Matilda Knight, and here they are. I am Miglotto, captain of the Blue Knights of Matilda. I'm here to assist Sir Victor of Muse. If you don't remember him, he was the one who bounced into... Uh, bounced into... Nanami at the Jostone City meeting thingy. Gilbert! How can you fight for Highland? Hmm. Have you become the kind of man who can sit idly by while villages burn and children die screaming? Well, have you? Talk. <laughs> wow, he's so full of himself. Well, we still have one more chance with the fire spare, so hopefully it will work. <sighs> Please don't make me restart this battle. Still have a few more returns, though. Okay, Seed is attacking us, and even though our troops are totally useless, um, they weren't able to damage us. That's good. We will be damaged now, though. <laughs> I can almost assure you. Yeah, there we go. Oh well. Blah 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 blah, you can heal by moving into a town. Yeah, I know, but there's no point, because they suck donkey ass, and I, they're actually more in the way than anything else. Come on, Flick, you have like 10 in attack. You're supposed to kill Gilbert right now. Ugh. Useless piece of garbage. Yeah, killing one guy at a time doesn't really help. What the hell? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen! 
That's really, really not supposed to happen! Come on, take down Hogan. <laughs> I don't expect you to succeed at all, but, you know, we gotta try. Okay, there will be a good shot, shot of clear that seat. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, we are supposed to be horribly mismatched in this battle, so... Yay, you survived! I just hope that Gilbert attacks Flick now and Flick damages Gilbert. That's the last chance we have, I think. Or one of the last chances. What we need to do to make Gilbert join our side is just to damage him once, and he will join us. And this is, the, I think, the only shot we have at him, and he's a Star of Destiny, so we need him. So once again, if we fail at this, I am gonna restart! And you don't want to see a restart, do you? Come on! Oh, good lord. How is this possible? Flick, you have like an amazing amount of attack and you still lose. <sighs> yeah, please? You're an archer, what? Yay! Finally! I love you, Flick. Kind of, sort of, not really. What I don't get right now is that Flick is an archer. <laughs> Why is he moving into hand to hand? You lost your touch! Why, you worthless! Arrgh. How about it, Gilbert? Why don't you join our side? A proud warrior like you shouldn't take money from a scum like Luca Blight. I guess this is fate. Okay, I'll do it. Chum! Lord G, the mercenaries! Gilbert, you dare betray us! Sorry. I'll send you a refund. Boo -doo -doo -boo -doo. Okay, so we got a new general to join our side. <sighs> oh well. As I told you, this battle is not supposed to go that well, actually. <laughs> We're gonna lose most of our troops, but I don't really care. Yay, two people survived! That's really rare, actually, that two of them survive a battle like that. Mostly, or usually, most of them are slaughtered. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yay. For some reason, normally when I play this, it goes really, really well, and at least this battle. Other battles don't go that well, but this battle usually goes so well that we at least kill Kulgin and, and Seed. But this time it just fails miserably. Every single troop is doing a horrible job right now. Except for Ryu right now, apparently. Good job! Ooh, an archer battle. We haven't seen those before, I think. And Flick just lost big time. I love how they keep shooting after everyone is dead on the other side. It's like... We have a surplus of arrows, so let's just shoot them at random. I wasn't supposed to die here, and you didn't, so stop complaining, you fool. And where are you supposed to die? How do you know? Well, at least we have the useless Matilda Knights, still. Finally, Michelotto actually attacks. Yeah. Oh well, what we're supposed to do is to slow them down, so at least we're kind of doing that. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> One person from each side, that's some battle. I do like the battle system here though, that's just run towards each other like crazy. And it's just slaughter, 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 riding through, walking through. And those people who survive, well, yeah, they survive. Good job. Uh, now that you have the Bright Shields run in war, um, they have a really good special ability right now, which heals everyone inside that area that you just saw in green. 
including yourself. Uh, but healing is really useful in war, I think. So, yay. Bright shield for the win. Ooh, Victor is actually gonna enter the battle. Please don't kill Victor. <laughs> kind of important that he survives. Oh, well, at least we got uh, Gilbert on our side, which was the most important thing in this battle. Well, except for winning, it was to make Gilbert join us, and we did, so... And now we get fired up by archers. I love how in Ryu's group, though, you can see Ryu in, in the war. Later on, if you have a cavalry ability, like with Miklado and Seed has here, that, you know, they're right horses, Ryu also gets his own, like, special horse. They're, like, yellow and pretty. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Ooh, look at this! Miklato, Commander Gerudo orders us to withdraw our forces immediately. What are you saying, Kamis? Our knights, sh our knights should turn our backs on the enemy and run? It's a knight's duty to follow the orders of his liege lord. Have you forgotten your oath? Damn. Oh, well, you guys were useless anyway. What's the matter with them? They're not going to defend Muse! Looks like someone is up to some nasty tricks here. If Muse falls, next it'll be our, your next in line. Joey, what are you thinking? So, the Mithril the Knights withdrew, and that's kind of fishy. We don't really know why. I guess we'll learn that later. Well, we never really had a positive... Positive, like, uh, view on Gorudo anyway. He seemed co quite like a dick, so... Ha! Today was just a greeting. Tomorrow your heads will be decorating the walls of the city. Well, try it, if you got the guts. Yeah, we can hardly call that a success, but... Somehow, we managed to slow them down. ba da ba well, we survived at least. That's the most important thing, I guess. You all fought, fought well. Now everyone gets some rest. Yeah, except for Flick. You just made a fool of yourself. With that much attack, you should be able to... I don't know, do much better. Hey, who's this? Joey, what are you standing here in the shadows for? That's kind of weird. Okay... That's even weirder. Were you masturbating, Joey? Hey, Nanami. Hey, Ryu. Can I tell you something? Sure. Thanks. Well, Ryu, about this battle, do you... <sighs> no, forget it. There's no chance, I guess. We have to protect ourselves. Good night, Ryu. I don't want to look at... Ooh, did you see that in our room? Nanami just went ahead and kissed Ryu. Go back and check it out. That was so weird. Ooh. Tell him, just like that. I understand. It will be just as you order. Ooh, Kage, that's a familiar name. Remember him from Suicoden 1? The ninja. Hey, there's Pilika. Pilika. Don't worry, it's just the wind. Pelika, hurry and get to sleep. I... I hope I'm taking the right path. So obviously something is going on here, but we don't know what. Okay, it's morning. Everyone's waiting downstairs. Good morning, Ryu. Yeah, good morning, Joey. Is Pilika still, Pilika is still asleep? No, she's not here. La la la, it's a lot of music. 
Oh, Ryu and Joey, you're both awake. I'm here too! Oh, sorry, sorry. You're going to see Annabelle today, aren't you? Tell her what a great job I did, okay? Who did a great job? <laughs> That's right! Anyway, don't go outside of the city. The Highland Army is all around. Okay, let's go, Ryu. Don't you want to hear about Master Genkaku? Grandpa Genkaku? I'm just gonna check out how this girl is doing. Ooh, Pelika, you're helping out in the kitchen, that's cute. Let's see here. Ryu, mm, the sugar, probably this. Aw, oh, still nothing new. What about you guys? Anything new? Some tricks on the border. There is actually a full-out war. They have killed the border guards. Elderly people of this town, they don't pay attention. What about you, young lady? <laughs> yeah, Lord Jess came this way just before. He's really handsome. Oh yeah. There's something about that open mouth that's just so sexy. Hey, old little woman. It's too bad. The rumor was true after all. Well, you could have told me what, ru what rumor that was, but... Tuta is my friend. Really. Uh, there's like two ways of reading that. Either Tuta is like a really cool kid, so it's like really cool to be his friend, or it's the total opposite, that like, this kid feels so bad for Tuta that he has to try to convince people, no, Tuta is actually my friend, like, I like this guy. I choose to go with the latter. As Tuta's a bit odd, according to me. Hey, how are you going with the filing thing with your sixth child? Yeah. You're taking him to the doctor today. That's been forever now. What about you? How's the filing going? Oh, you're still waiting. That makes sense. Do you need to show the people here a good trick again? Lady Annabelle! I wonder what she knows about Grandpa Genkaku. Is she in here? Yeah, she is. Lord Gustav, are you saying that Tinto City will not operate? Cooperate? <laughs> It's not what I'm saying, but as long as you don't know the Highland Army's intentions, I'm going not I'm not going to commit any of my troops. I think your intentions are clear. Perhaps you're just frightened. How dare you! It was South Window Army who retreated at the first sight of blood during the Scarlet Moon Empire War. You're a fool. War isn't a damn gambling game. Stop it, both of you. There's no use in arguing. In any case, we're not ready to commit troops. That's my decision. So the Tinto and South Window armies are not the best of friends, or the cities are not the best of friends. <sighs> Forgive me, Ryu and Ami. As you can see, we're still in the middle of negotiations. Could you come back this evening? Yes, of course! Let's go, Ryu, Joey. Joey! Lady Annabelle, mm, may I ask you something? What is it? Why are you fighting, lady? What do you hope to get from this war? I'll get nothing from it. I'll fight, so we won't lose. I was born in Muse, raised in Muse. It's natural that I want to protect her. Okay. I was still debating. Well, she's busy, so let's go. <laughs> I was still debating. Translation error... <laughs> Oh well, you gotta love those errors. They're part of the game. What makes the game so charming and cute. Now I just gotta double check with my memory that we've done everything that needs to be done in news. Ooh, we can check for a Fury Rune. I really hope to get at least one Fury Rune, actually. If not, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> Fuck you, Rune Master Hagura, whatever your name was. What's her name again? Zenith. Screw you and your family. I'm never gonna go shopping her again. You're dead to me. Dead. Okay, I guess we just need to return to the inn then, since we can't leave the town and we've been everywhere. Oh, Flick, you're playing with Pilika. That's nice. That was fast. Didn't you get to see Annabelle? We saw her, but she told us to come back at night. She was really busy. It looked like she was arguing about something. 
Yeah, well, that figures. She hasn't really been seen with her own eyes how scary Blight is. Blight. I'm sorry, Pelika. Nanami, could you play with Pelika for a little while? Huh? What? Sure I can, but what's up? Awkward silence. Over here, Pelika. Come play with me. Jump, jump behind Joey. I'm sorry, Pelika. Hello, Victor is just chugging beer while all the drama in the world is happening right in front of him. Hey, Victor, can I talk to you? Hey, Victor, where did you go? That's so sad. I want to talk to you. You handsome, rugged, muscular man. Growl. Let's see here. Well, I guess I just need to look for Joey then. Are you Joey? I knew it. I knew we couldn't trust out of those Highlanders. Even a child wouldn't trust them. Excuse me, I'm from Highland. What about you, old man? Are you Joey? <laughs> Sonny. Wow. Is she drunk or something? Huh? Oh, hello. What is it? City Hall is just past her. Isn't it? <laughs> like, is she a tourist? Who's just permanently stuck between two buildings here in Muse? I'm really so busy. Clank, a clank, a clank, a clank. All day and all night long. Is Joey in the armors making armor? Welcome to Millions Armor Emporium. You always have uh, a rare find, but you don't have a Fury Rune, so I don't care. I really, 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 really don't care. Oh, I really have you been here before? Let's talk to some people. Hey, I'm thinking of leaving the store to my sisters and going south. I want to see the island countries. Shelf with item from many countries. He's apparently very interested in, in foreign things. Of course, the island countries must be the island nations from Suicune 4. It's cute that they mention it, even though. Oh, dying plants! Needs more water! And there's an armor list, whatever that is, like a list of armors, I guess, but still, that's pretty weird. What about you, old woman? Who are you? My million and Malion are hard workers. Yeah, I guess those are the like, sisters who own the store, but... How dare he leave the store to his sisters and while he travels all around the world? Well, he hasn't done it yet, he's still in the room. But where is this, uh, the sister then? Where is Melian? Are you Melian? Are you Melian? Brace armor? What is a brace armor? What is this? Shelf with small tools. Can I talk to you from behind the camera? Ooh! Ah! That's weird! I'm not talking to you! Now I'm talking to you! Did you see that? I can talk to the desk from behind here and I'm like, yeah, welcome, welcome to Millions Emporium of Armor and Greatness. What about this cup? Is Joey hiding in this cup? Okay, enough joking around, let's go find Joey. Because of course I know where he, where he is. He is hiding out pretty much where we just were, and that's up by the city hall. <gasps> Kage again! Well, see you later. Hey, Joey. Ryu. Who was that person? I'm sorry, Ryu. I, I can't say right now. Ryu, this war isn't going to end for a long time. You and Anami should run far away. What are you going to do? Dot 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 dot. If... If I was ever killed, I want you to take care of Pilika. Well, gee, negative Nancy. That's a kind of a negative way of talking. Anyway, Joey just meets with strange people. He wants us to run away. I mean, what is this all about? We don't know. Who is that? Who is rude enough to come knocking at this time of night? Hey. 
Were you awake? I don't have time to sleep. In that case, how about we have a little drink? <laughs> Sounds nice. Oh, I like this pairing. Victor and Annabelle. They're cute together. I think you'll like this. It's from Kanakon to the south. I saved this one just to drink with you. When my fort burned down, this one bottle was all I could carry. Mmm, nice bouquet. Bouquet. Bouquet? 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 So how is it? Don't stare at me like that. I feel like you're looking right into my heart. <laughs> Sorry. Just a bad habit of mine. That's right. You're a tough one. Whew. The people of the city are sleeping peacefully now, but the flames of war are coming here soon. Even if we gather all the state troops, I wonder what chance we'll have when we come face to face with Luke of Light's unit. Well, about 50-50, I guess. I can't... I mean, we can't lose. If we lose, we lose everything. All of those lives. When I think about it, sometimes I get so sad I even think that maybe we should just surrender quietly. A leader can't think that way. Everyone's fighting as hard as they can. They all have something they want to defend. You do too. Even if it's to save your life, there are some things you just don't do. At least that's the way I see it. Glug glug glug. I need all my strength tomorrow. After this drink, I'm going to get to bed. Lack of sleep makes you weak. Say, if I was born in a different time, a different place, and if I was a little shorter, I might have been a good girlfriend for you, huh? <laughs> well, you're just fine the way you are if you ask me. Maybe I'm not, though. Aw, oh, poor Victor. You're a fine, well-bred lady. Me? You wouldn't... You couldn't be seen with me. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Looks like he's giving her the finger, but yeah, whatever. Poor Annabelle. Welcome back, Ryu. We were waiting for you. Let's go and see Annabelle soon, okay? What is it, Pilika? Huh? What? Oh, Joey. That's right. It's strange. I haven't seen him. There's nothing to worry about. He came home before, just like he promised. Besides, Ryu and I will be back soon, too. So be a good girl, okay? Okay. Let's go, Ryu. Minami joins the party. There's a lot of alcohol on the tables here, and they put up some candles. That's pretty cute. Hello, Leona. I'm going to see Annabelle, right? I'll light a candle. Hurry back, okay? Hurry back. Because I can't wait to see you. Can we save now? Like, no. Okay. Ooh, it's dark. That's pretty cool. Can we, like, go into people's houses and steal things? No. What a shame. Uh, okay, then. We just have to go to the city hall. Unfortunately, we can't, like, break into anyone's houses and so on. What a shame, but, you know, that's, li that's life. Ooh, hey, can we do a good trick? Um, we came to see Annabelle. Yes, I heard. Annabelle is in her private room down the hall. Your friend is already back there. Our friend? <gasps> Bum, 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 bum. What has happened? I love the knocking sound. Is that you, Ryu? Come in, come in. Excuse me, Annabelle. May I come in? Please. But Joey, what do you want at this hour? Your life. I came to take it. Oh, you're not joking, are you? Please, don't scream. I don't want to believe it, but... Forgive me. To protect Muse and the state, and to allow the people here to live full, rich lives. 
That is what I, what I must do. Do you have something like that? Something you'll do at all costs? Yes. I also have something I must do. Can you bear the burden, Joey? Do you really have the resolve? Yes. I've got a reason to bear that burden. And I will. Hmm. Even if I call for help, I suppose I can't stop that knife. Would you at least let me finish this class? It's from a close friend. It would be sad to waste it. I, I'm sorry. You dropped your guard, boy! <laughs> I like that scene so much when she's like all kick-ass and is like... Screw you, you can't mess with me, I'm a tough... Old lady. Well, she's not old, sorry. Tough, powerful lady. But... It didn't work. Ryu. What? What? No! What happened? Annabelle is... Joey. You didn't... Forgive me. Joe. Ryu. <laughs> not Joey. Wait! Joey! <gasps> Uh, Lady Annabelle, the Highland Army has made a surprise attack, night attack. Lady Annabelle, what the... You, what have you done? What the hell have you done? Explain yourself. Lord Jess, the Highland Army has entered the city. What? How could that have happened so quickly? It was open from the inside. Someone must be working with them. What? Okay, Ryu, don't move. Hey, call a doctor. Ryu. Try not to talk, Lady Annabelle. Tell Jess. I don't need a doctor. Ryu. Gunkaku san. You. I meant to apologize to you for what the state and I did to Gunkaku. Annabelle, don't talk. Ryu, Nanami, did you? Were you were you happy with your life with, with Genkaku? Yes, y yes, of course. Is is that so? Then at least I can rest. Hurry, H hurry and escape the Highland Army. The, the, they'll come here first. Hurry. But, but, I, I, I have a last request. D -d Don't die, Ryu, Nanami. Live. Now hurry, hurry and run. <sighs> Let's go, Ryu. Why don't we follow Joey, by the way? He ran out the back door there. Back door, yeah. Ryu. You... I think it was fate. Uh, I think fate sent you here. Well, maybe. I think it was the Bright Shield Rune. Ryu, hurry and run! Well, what about Pilika, you dick? That's right, Pilika! We have to save Pilika! Yeah, unfortunately, I guess we have to. Okay, it's time to show your fire magic skills, uh, Nanami. Without backfiring on me, that would be nice. Yay! Hundred and seventy-four. Color me impressed. And now let's finish off with a family attack, just for kicks. Duh! Epilepsy attack, as my brother always called it when I was young. It really is one of the most annoying attacks, just or United annoying United attacks because of the bright shining flashes of light that suddenly pops up everywhere. Doom. Ooh, what about this crate? It's a wooden chest used as a bench. <laughs> like all of a sudden during an attack in the middle of the night. 
empty stuff and, I, or, and look around and there's like, ooh, there's a wooden box to use as uh, a bench. Cool beans. Oh, one of those arrived. This is a surprise. At least he died now. Can we steal some brandy? Or no, salted beef. Where's the fire whiskey? Oh, that's inside. What about Leona? Are you okay? Yeah, here you are. Hi. Victor and Flick went to gather the army to try to buy a little time. We're going to, to alter rendezvous in South Window. I'm getting ready to get out of here. You should escape too. A boat runs from Coronet South of here to South Window. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and run! Yes! Pilica joins Convoy. Oh well. I guess we just need to escape then. Can we look at this bush before we leave? Aww. I guess not. Ooh. Counterattack! Yes! Wow! Awesome. That's one of the changes from Studio Code 1 to Studio Code 2, is if people or if enemies die when you counterattack them, they will actually die in front of you instead of jumping back to their original position and then, then die. <sighs> if we made it this far, we should be fine. How many times do we have to run like this? <sighs> Wait, Pilika! We can't go back! <sighs> it, it's okay, Pilika honey. Joey will be fine. We can't go back. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Aww. It actually looks adorable. If it weren't that sad. Pelika, she finally fell asleep. Hey, Ryu. Is it true? Did Joey really do that to Annabelle? No, he would never do such a thing. So what are we going to do now? Do you know what I want? I want to go somewhere far away. Far away from all of this war. Somewhere in the mountains, maybe. We could live a quiet life. We could farm a little small field, just the three of us. That would be nice. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Liar! <laughs> I'm sorry, you're right. That will never happen now. Forget about Joey. I'm tired now. I'm going to sleep. Forget about Joey? How can you just forget about her friend? Good night for you. Nanami never lets up on that. Let's run away somewhere. Blah de blah de blah. Super duper annoying. Oh, it's beautiful during the night too. Or during the morning, I mean. Good morning, Ryu. Leona. She said go to Coronet, right? Good morning, Pelika. We'll go after you wash your face. Hey, Ryu, you go wash your face in that stream, too. Sure, bossy, my bossy. Um, um, I'm thinking about something. We, I think we can go and recruit a character right now. Um, Templeton, you remember him from the first game as well? He was standing outside the burnt village of the elves uh, in Suicoden 1. Uh, he is now, I think, down at the mercenary fortress. I think you can go recruit him now. But the thing is, I'm actually not going to bother because it's a long way down to the mercenary fortress and we're just not going to bother. So we're going to go to Coronet. Sumi. We can take a boat from here to Cuscus on the other on the other shore. I think we can go to the south window from there. A cute young map maker, Emma, told me that. Yeah. Once she has said that, Templeton will spawn way back at Mercenary Forge, so... <laughs> I should stop making that sound, but I just, it's so awkward when Pilika says nothing. What's wrong, Pilika? Are you sleepy? We just woke up. Here, get a barrel filled with fish. Or an antique vase. Or a very impressive bonsai. A large potted plant, a sealed yard jar. Very impressive bonsai. There's a lot of impressive bonsais here. Normal bonsai. Small bonsai. Large bonsai. Big bonsai, of course. 
jar placed in the shade. <laughs> so awfully specific. What I love though, uh, last year I studied a bit in South Korea and it's actually pretty funny. They do have a lot of jars outside in the streets, even like very busy streets where there's like a lot of cars driving around. <laughs> it's like, ew. <laughs> Why would you have eat food that's like been out in very dirty roads? Am I really that spoiled? I guess I... Well, I ate it, so I mean, I'm not that spoiled. I even tried making some of my own food in that kind of yar jar thingy. Surprisingly delicious, even when I made it. And cards. What about this? A wooden box. There's a house I almost never enter, so let's see what happens in here. Bonsai given a lots of light. Take a look at those branches. I trimmed and shaped them met meticulously. What a success! Firewood. Hello, old lady. Give me a recipe. It's hard to have a big family. Laundry, cleaning, chores. It's like a war sometimes. Why don't anybody here, like, recognize or talk about the fact that there is, like, a bunch of Highland soldiers out in the streets right now? Say, you're from Highland, right? I knew it, because I got a friend from here, there, that, and you talk just like him. Difficult books. Books in a foreign script. Are you a Highland soldier, too? Finally, somebody recognizes the fact that there's a bunch of Highland soldiers around. My dad told me not to go outside. I wonder what's going on. Your dad is obsessed with a bonsai. So where are you going? To Couscous Town, perhaps? Yeah, it's possible. If those Highland rascals won't let us take our ships out, how are you supposed to catch fish? This is a good place to live. The fish are good, too. And Highland soldiers all around doesn't bother me the least. Okay, well, we've been in this town before, uh, so there's no point in going around talking to everyone. What has happened, obviously, is that the Highland soldiers are here as well, and we just met somebody who said that, hey, we can't take out our boats. How are we supposed to catch fish? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Cry, cry, cry. Well, let's check, check it out then. Hey, guys, can we take out the boat? Wait a minute, where do you think you're going? Um, yeah, I, I, I thought we could book passage on one of your ships. No way. Lord Luke Blight ordered no ships to leave Art leave the port. Go on home, kid. Ah, but we can't go to Kuskus without a boat. That's very true. Guess we gotta prepare to... Let's, for some reason, go to the right hedge, check if we can do this now. No, we couldn't. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could skip a part of the storyline, but we couldn't. Well, I guess we just need to go to the inn then and rest up, because, you know, we gotta stay here for a while. So, maybe we can try again tomorrow? Even though we just got here and it's still early morning, as far as I understood? Let's check it out. That's the bar. We don't need to be in the bar, we need to be at the inn. Hey, Highland soldier. The state army is nothing, just like Lord Luca says. We could finish them any time. Yes, you could, but why would you? Ooh, familiar faces. Ha! They're all just cowards. They call themselves soldiers. Isn't there even one of you that knows how to act like a man? Oh, stop it, Eileen. They're not listening. But maybe there's a handsome young man that could help poor little me out. That's pretty shameless, sis. <gasps> Ryu, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to your hometown. Who, who, who are you? Oh, I should say the same thing. I'm Ailey. I'm the person who saved Ryu's life. Saved my life? Well, anyway, come over here. You must have a lot of stories to tell. I don't like her, so I don't want to flirt and be nice with her. You didn't save my life. Rina saved my life, probably, more than you did. It's been a long time, Ryu. Have you been well? Oh, so you're with your girlfriend now? Oh, you got it all wrong! I'm Ryu's big sister! No, oh, good news, right, Ailey? Shut up, sis! <laughs> By the way, what are you doing here, Ryu?
So you've been through a lot too. Our story is pretty much the same. Business was no good in Highland, so we decided to move elsewhere. We haven't made it this far, but... Hey, could it be? Are you on your way to South Window too? Yeah. In that case... Yeah, but the Highland Army will punish anyone who takes your boats out, so nobody will do it for us. Is that right? What should we do, Ryu? Yeah, everyone's relying on me here. What about Bulgan? Can't you do something? You're big enough we could, like, sit on your back while you swim to South Window or Couscous. No, but okay. Um, this part for me when I was a kid always was, like, really confusing. I had no idea what to do because I never saw the extra little part of town that's over here. <laughs> but if you go here, then bada bing bada boom, something will happen. Come on, Taiho! World pals! Why don't you take your boat out for us? What do you mean? Anyway, the wind blows and the dice rolls. How do I get across the lake? So, if you saw that, recognize his name? Shina? Um, he was looking very different in Suikoden 1, but he was still in Suikoden 1. The son of Lepant and Eileen. Hey, that guy's talking about crossing the lake! Yeah? Are like we are we supposed to walk in here or go in here? The, the, the door that was locked like ten minutes ago. Sheena, I'm not gonna do it. Give up and go on home. Hey, big brother. It's not a customer. Who are you guys? We uh we want to go to South Window. <laughs> not again. Sorry, but I don't feel like it. Go on home. But we gotta cr get across the lake. You, come here a minute. Hmm, you're pretty determined. Okay, here's what I'll do. We'll run the dice for it. If you win, I'll take the boat out. If I win, I keep your potch. Okay, so if I win, we'll take the boat out. And if he wins, I'll keep your potch. Okay, I'll do it. I didn't even save, so this can hurt my pocket pretty badly, but... Uh... You know, Chinchirorin, right? Well, we played it in Suikoden 1. I'm assuming that you have at least heard of this game or seen my playthrough of Suikoden 1. Unfortunately, we can't abuse the system like we could in Suikoden 1. Because uh, they won't double our winnings every single time he loses, unfortunately. But the rules still apply. Uh, that we, like, have to win 2,000 potch. If we get 1-1-1... One, 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 uh, yeah, let's see here. He got... A pair and then another, then it's the last, the one that's not a pair, that's his uh, score. So he has a four. Let's see here, and I got no sc Oh, wait, it's two. Never mind then. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the only luck you got is bad luck, son. Well, screw you and your father. Too bad, eh? You win some, you lose some. Well, we can just try again whenever we want to. It's all about luck, and uh, if you get three of the same kind, as long as it's not 1-1-1, uh, one, one, then you gain double. If you get 4-5-6, you gain triple. If you get 1-1-1, one, 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 you lose triple. If you get 1-2-3, you lose double, I think. At least I'm pretty sure. In Suicoden 1, you know, the computer had like a loss ratio that was way higher than anything. <laughs> he lost all the time, it was really easy to make a lot of money in this, but... Taiho is apparently a bit better than Gaspar in Suicoden 1 at this game. So let's see here, no score. Yeah, you have three tries to get a score. We have a five, I won, yay! Hey, it looks like you won! You got good luck! Damn, I lost. Hey, what a surprise! You're pretty lucky. Big brother, no. You're not thinking of taking your boat out, are you? Those Highland soldiers mean business. Yamku, get the boat ready. The dice never lie. We're taking him across the lake. You don't miss a fate, you know. Really? Really? You'll take us? Okay, just wait a minute, okay? Hey, Ryu, let's take the others with us too. It'll be safer for all of us. These two are kind of... I don't know, unsavory. What do you say, girl? Um, I said that you're doing us a real favor. But would you just wait for a little bit? We have to, uh, some other friends we want to bring. Let's go, Ryu! Well, hurry up. I don't want the Highland Army finding out about this. I don't know what Taiho and Yamku are doing here. Well, we kind of do. 
if you remember Kimberly, uh, in the ending of Kimberly in Suicode 1, it said that she forced herself into Taiho's household. Uh, so, you know, she actually married him. <laughs> so I guess they're kind of on the run away from her. I don't know how that really fits all together, like... Why did you marry someone you want to run away from? It's not like she can force you to marry... Maybe she forged a signature. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. She was a signature forger, so maybe. Hey, Ryu. Thought of something clever yet? Listen, listen! Oh, sounds like the fairy in uh, Zelda. I see. Good going, Ryu. Win a gamble, get a boat, huh? But I wonder if it's okay. There may be pirates. You've got no other choice, but we should be okay with this many people. Don't worry about it. That's right. Well, Ryu, it looks like we're traveling mates again. Okay, let's go! When I was younger, I somehow always read what Rina just said there as looks like our traveling mates again. Or was that maybe what she said and I just misread it? I don't know. Uh, so let's see here. Aile still has more hit points uh, than another Ronanami. She had more hit points than Joey back in the day, too. Anyway, uh, as you see, they are now level 19. So they have grown in level since we last saw them. And now, you know, their differences are starting to become more apparent. Polgan is the strength and uh, hit points guy. Rina is the mage, while Aile is more of an all-rounder. Great! La, 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 la. Okay, but anyway, we can now... Oops, that was the wrong place. <laughs> the boat is not leaving where the Highland Soldier is standing, strangely enough. We have to go to... Go over here to where Taiho was. Uh, anyway, we're closing in on the end of this episode, uh, I guess. We're just gonna reach our next town, and then we'll say... Oh, there you are. Hey, that's a lot of friends you got there. We're so grateful for you letting us on board your fine ship. Huh? Uh, oh, <laughs> leave it to me, Missy. Everyone get on board. My brother's got a weakness for beautiful women. I'm talking about Pilika, right? Or maybe Ryu? I think Ryu could be a very convincing woman if we just rest up and drag and got, you know, a bit longer here. I've seen some fan art who supports my theory. Damn, next time. Huh? What's that? Aw, oh, poor Sheena. Sheena was always so brilliant, too, in uh, Suikun, when he was like one of the better characters. Not when he had the lightning ring permanently equipped. Uh, but in this game, he's like famous for being one of the two titans in the game. Uh, you know, that he has like a serious, amazing ability to do huge damage output and hand-to-hand -hand damage. Second place over uh, at level 60, and if you do like the optimum settings for every single character, he is the second second most damaging character in hand to hand. So that's pretty impressive. See, I fulfilled my promise. Thank you very much. Okay, let's head for a south window. South window is um south window is just south of here. South, south. I've just figured out that Yamku and Bolgan have exactly the same voice, and Yamku is not really meant to be stupid. Okay, everybody! Let's go, Ryu. Slowly walking in on you like a zombie. Ooh! I never really got that. Why is Anami so upset that somebody is flirting with her brother? I mean, shouldn't you be like... Not yay, but shouldn't you just be like... Ooh, good for you. Okay, anyway, there's a few new town here right now, so there's a few... Not... Secrets, I guess, but uh, still, you know. Hey, you! A monster in North Window? Some drunken old fool was probably just saying things. Okay, we'll move it. Hey, didn't you hear about the monster living in North Window, North Festifair? I wonder if it's true. Where have we heard North Window before? Didn't we hear about it in Suicoden 1? I guess we did. Or kind of. I think they switched the names a bit. Anyway, let's look at this one for example. Crate filled with apples. Smells good. I love that one. I always look at it when I'm in this town. It's a tradition. 
Hey, what about you? Those mutes folks are too buddy-buddy with Highland. They betrayed us! That's why things are like this. Uh, Muse said he just fell to Highland, but whatever. Oh, and the fisherman is always so silent. Ooh, that's right, there's a fishing minigame in this game. Oh, that's always kind of funny, actually. Hee <laughs> hee! A fish, a fish! I wish to catch a fish! Ha 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 She's pretty serious about fishing! Ha 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 ha! I'll catch lots of fish for the for dinner for you. Is it like a date? That's pretty cute. Taiho and his brother Yamku. I hope they come back someday. Well, they're in port right now. Or did they go away? I don't remember. Can't could have. Shu from Rada is a famous as uh, is famous as a trader, but I heard a rumor that he was once a strategist in the Scarlet Moon Empire. Oh please, come in. Okay, thank you. Oh, hello. My husband isn't here right now. In fact, he hardly ever comes back at all. Uh, this has always been something that is a bit confusing for uh, people, because this guy is a guy. So people... I've seen some online forums where they are, like, talking about... Is this, like, a... Equality... thing in Suicoden? Who knows? Expensive bonsai. Anyway, the reason why I'm here is because we're gonna steal a recipe. <laughs> Bookshelf. Huh? What's this? It's recipe 9. Uh, which is... the fish fry, or fried fish recipe. Because, you know, we need a recipe for frying fish. It's really hard. My papa tells me I should study more, but I hate studying. Aww. Oh, hi there. You're cute, aren't you? You're from here? No, you're not Daria! <laughs> I am a pirate! Yeah! Rawr. Encyclopedia. That's a really big encyclopedia. Well, I guess that actually kind of makes sense. I'm the oldest boy of the family, so I don't even have to work. Wow! Yeah, equality, not really. Early to bed, early to rise. <laughs> oh, so many fun things to see in this town. A wandering travel traveler told me the muse was conquered by Luca Blight. What's gonna happen to the city state now? I don't know, but... Better prepare for war. Poorly kept plant. Aww. This family is so rich that I just know they're up to no good. <laughs> Let's check them out. What is their motto? Each according to his needs. <laughs> Ooh. What am I gonna do? Now I can't send the goods Lord Shu ordered. Lately the trading ships haven't had much work for us. Guess war isn't good for business even though Shu says that later on. The boss says that we can't take the boats out. That stinks! But it's best to stay away from him at times like this. Well, it doesn't seem like they're up to no good. It seems like they're a totally normal trading family who just earns a bit of money and you're just jealous. Hmm. Say, aren't you old man Gimo's boy? <laughs> yeah, if you give me money, I'll be Gimo's boy all you want. Nice weather today. It's a perfect day to take a nice long break from work. All Papa does is drink sake all, line, all day long, but I still love him. That's perhaps the saddest thing I've written in a long while. Newly caught fish. Ooh, yeah, this is cute. I remember. Well then, what should we do for dinner? Hey there, we got some great stuff. We'll bring it to ya. What's your motto? One is good, two is better. Wow, I actually like that one. That should be my motto too. <laughs> one is good, two is better. Welcome! Are you a customer? No? Then I wouldn't be here checking out your plants, buddy. Ledger... boxes? Hey there! Oh, Some... oh, we can actually walk from here, I didn't realize. Some shopkeepers actually react if you go behind the counter and talk to them, and they will be like, Hey, what are you doing behind here? Get to the other side, you fool! But not this one. Okay, so the most important woman to talk to here is actually this old woman. Lately, some nasty scoundrels who only attack girls have been showing up. Because that's like... Uh, I figured, I remember, I did, when I played this game for the first time, that was like before we had very stable internet, or before I even knew how to use the internet. So I was always really proud when I figured out how to... Uh, how, you know, some new Stars of Destiny join us that me and my brother didn't know about. 
and I figured out how to make that character that she mentions join, or she didn't mention that person, uh, but this scenario that she mentioned, there's a character that can join you surrounding that scenario, and I was super proud of myself when I figured out that, hey, that was actually a character, I made her join us, yay! This is actually a really good, um, really good blacksmith. Uh, not right now. I mean, right now he's just totally up to five or six, I think. Maybe six? Why are we sharpening your mommy's weapon? But he uh, continuously throughout the game goes up in level. So, like, according to storyline, he will, like... You know, you remember, for example, in Suicoden 1, when you were at Warrior's Village, it was, like, up to level 15 or something? Well, if you met uh, a person in a store who could level up to 15, then this guy would uh, also be able to take it up that far. So, he comes in handy a lot later. So, yay. Another thing to check out here is, of course, always the item shop. They can have... Can they have a recipe? Sir, you look very prosperous. Let me know if you need any help. Thank you. They do indeed have a recipe. A quiche recipe. And I do like me some quiche. What else do you have? A fish bag or something? No. Gauntlet. Okay. No thank you. Hello, old man. My little brother. I wonder how long it's gonna keep bumming around here. <laughs> Is this your little brother? I'm living here rent-free. I'm so ashamed. I really have to thank my big brother. Sounds like me. Well, I'm not bumming anyone, but I could technically do that without any problems. <laughs> the old man who's lodging here for free. He's got plenty of interesting stories. I hope he'll stay forever. The man who stays here, he's your uncle. Kind of rude to call him this old man. Shelf, shelf. How oh, boring. Okay, so just the in left. And we're gonna go and save there. I've been looking around this town forever now, but it's just something I always do when I enter a new town. Uh, what are you guys looking at? Uh, Car Karen, please come back soon. I'm, I'm one of Karen's biggest fans. I wonder if she'll be back soon. A woman named Karen usually dances here. A real knockout she is. Everyone loves her. So apparently somebody named Karen will show up here once in a while. What is Chotchkes? Chokkes? 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 Sounds like a made-up Russian-Japanese word. Haha, <laughs> the food at our inn is second to done. It's because I keep my eye on everything. What about you, old lady? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm getting everything ready in case a new customer arrives. Okay, well, you have a new customer now, because I'm going to sleep and save here, and I will see you in the next episode. In this episode, we did a throughout checking out of uh, Mew City. We looked at everything again, and Joey betrayed us. And we went to war, not in disorder. We went to war first, then Joey betrayed us by killing Lady Annabelle. The war between Highland and Muse, or the city-states, are now officially going. Uh, so, we are now running away from the Highland army that has taken over Muse, and we're now on our way to South Window, which is really, 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 really close to Cusco... No, to... Yeah, Couscous, that's where we are right now. Where hopefully we will be able to meet up with Flick and Victor. And hopefully they survive and they can figure out what to do next. So, that's been it for this episode. Sorry for checking out so many st stuff around here, but it's a big part of the game for me. Just to check out the descriptions that are everywhere and talking to people. I think it's fun. Sue me. If you don't think it's fun, I don't care. <laughs> well, I do care a bit, but... It's... Don't hate me. Okay, see you guys later. Thank you again. Bye.